Savage, like I said, and we're at the WWE Slam Zone Arena. Yes, we're on the road, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to say this. I want to say this right here. I had the case. I want to reveal what I said was going to be in this case to the whole entire YouTube universe. To all the WWE Slam Zone fans out there will be revealed, but later on tonight, we will have a brand new YouTube Mega World's Heavyweight Champion because Michael Miner has been stripped of the YouTube Championship. But I'm going to sit down and tell everybody, reveal to the world, just exactly what's in this case. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, right here I have the paperwork. Right here, I have the paperwork and we're going to get it signed. That's what we're going to do because we have a brand new co-owner right here at the WWE Slam Zone and I'm going to reveal him right now. Big Red, get out here, your brand new WWE Slam Zone co-owner. What a member of the enforcement. That's Sit right. down there, Big That's Red. Right. That's right, I'm the co-owner. Sit down here, I got the case. We had the paperwork right here. This means right here, this paperwork means right here that uh, your Michael Miner is no longer the co-owner and we signing you as the co-owner right here at Surrender tonight. That's right. So let's go ahead and get it started. Right here, write your name out there. Right there. Right there. Just write it anywhere, you good. Yeah, there you go. There you go, right there, ladies and gentlemen. It is signed, sealed, and delivered. No more Michael Miner co-owner. We had the big meetings this past week after Beyond the Ropes, and it's a done deal. What do you think? What are you going to do as your first mission as the co-owner? Are you going to beat up everybody? Are you going to beat up Samoli and Joe tonight? I'm going to clean house. That's what I'm going to do. That's right. Tell everybody what you think of your first day as the co-owner of this company. I'm going to clean house. I'm going to have a new YouTube champion and it's going to be in the enforcement. That's right, it's going to be in the enforcement. I'm going to put all this up right here because i got to send it to the board of directors. That's right. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a big shocker right here at the WWE Slam Zone. I got, I, got my, I got my suit on. I'm, I'm Harvard Grand. That's right. That That's is right. right, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, i got something to tell you. I got something to What? I'm WWE Show Your Superstar Champion, and I'm going to go get my belt right now. That's like right. Like we done had it locked up and safe and tight. That's right. So, you know what? We Let's go on to a commercial right now. Superstar champion. That's right. And you know what? I hope everybody enjoyed the payback commercial. WWE payback. It's it's amazing. I hope everybody enjoys it. May 17th. That's right. May it's going to be a good pay per view there on the WWE Network for only $9.99. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And tonight, I want to go ahead and say this, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, right here at WWE Slam Zone surrender the free purview tonight on our YouTube channel that you do not want to miss the rest of the show. We're going to have the Show Your Superstar Championship up on the line. I'm putting it up on the line. Shamoli and Joe wants a shot, so I'm giving him a shot. We're going to have a brand new YouTube Mega World's Heavyweight Champion. That's We're right. also going to have a big, big thing 
thing right here. WWE Tag Team Championships are on the line. Me and you versus Willie Joe and Homicide. Homicide. That's right. That's, That's right. going to happen tonight because I heard that he's, he offered you a title shot. We're going to get them back tonight. That's right. And also, we're going to have... Uh, the King of England title, I know you, that's going to be here tonight. I know you got it later on, you got it hidden later tonight. That way Fatback Greasy can't get it, so you're going to have a little surprise for him. That's right. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be an, an epic free preview tonight, and I hope everybody enjoys it. What do you think? You think everybody, you think everybody was shocked over you being the co-owner of this company? That's right. I'll tell you what. I'm the co-owner, I'm the boss man, and I'm going to tell you what it's going to be. That's right. Let me put my belt right there, man. Let me put my belt right there. There we go. Yeah. Uh, there you go. You got it. You had it up. You had it up right there. You had it. There you go. There you go, big red. Anyway, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, you done messed it up. There you go. Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to mention this, big red. I saw, I saw last week. You beat the crap out of Willie Joe. You took his braids and everything. Is he here tonight anyway? Are they going to have to forfeit their titles? I, I know they're going to have to forfeit. They, they are? Yeah, they're going to have to. They're they going to. And uh, you know what? Also, I want to say this. You also beat Homicide up and took his mask. That's right. Where is it at? I got to put up. Sell it on eBay? Sell, sell it on eBay. You sold it on eBay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we also have flatbed greasy he thought he'd run the wrestlemania week commercial or commercial i you know week or whatever you want to call it stupid that's week. right because it should have been our week it should have been the enforcements week but you know what next year we're taking over wrestlemania Man, week that's right so you you take care of flatbed greasy tonight I and will. the enforcement's going to run the show that's right because we don't have to worry about all this stupid crap with the New World Alliance. We don't have to worry about stuff with uh, Homicide, Willie Joe, or Simoleon Joe, that stupid masked wannabe himself. That's right. I don't know why he thinks he's trying to be to show your superstar champion because the superstar champion is me. I know who created this belt was stupid Willie Joe, but he ain't never going to get this title because Willie Joe thought he was something trying to be on the WWE Slams on YouTube channel. That's right. But he, WWE Slam or whatever channel he wants to be on. But anyway, he was on the WWE YouTube channel trying to hold this belt and created this belt for some odd reason. But you know something? I'm to show you a superstar champion. I also want to say something else there, Big Red. What's that? When I was going to tell you in the month of June, we're going to have the return of uh, Fort Mill Showdown 2015. That's right. We're going to have a bunch of people on that show. We're going to have Buff the Has-Been Bagwell. He's going to be there. We also going to have Bobby Fulton. Who's that? I don't know who he is. Rock and Roll Express. Grandpa? Yeah, Grandpa's. Uh, uh, George South? Yeah. Grandpa? Yeah. Yeah. Who else? Uh, Bobby Fulton? Yeah, I don't know who he fantastic. is. You know who he is? Fantastic. He, He's I, fantastic. <laughs> is that what it is? That's right. We're going to have the maestro. Maestro from WCW, w you know who that? That's right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Here are your belt, Big Red. We just said it right here. We just said it right here. That's right. Just said it right there. Said it right there. Anyway, we're going to have that show, ladies and gentlemen, in the month of June. But you don't want to miss the next free preview. It will be, it will be underground in the month of May. Next month, you don't want to miss it. But I got to get going by there, Big Red. Yeah, you got things to do. I got things to do. I got a title match in a little bit. I got a big title match a little bit. You wanna? I'm gonna throw my case over here. I don't need That's the case right. no, more. I, need no more. Well, I gotta send it to board. You gotta send it to board, Dre. You better take your weed. Yeah, I better. I set it over here for right now. What? What do you want? What do you? What do you want? We got Samoa and Joe over here. We got you know Samoa and Joe. What? No, it's not time for your title match tonight. No. It is not. You know what? Let me go handle it. Go this. handle it. Let me, let, hold Let's on. Yeah, I'm going to go handle this right now. I'm going to handle it right now. All right. You know what? 
Hey, Big Red, I see you in a little bit. I'm going to go handle this. All, All right, right, go handle it. All right, you talk to the fans out there. Okay. Oh! 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 Smolin Joe. Uh, hey, you got to uh, deal with me now, Smolin Joe. Uh, I tell you what, people out there, we going to our next commercial. Stupid Samoan Joe, what are you doing? I seen you hit Billy Bob and took his belt. You stupid Samoan Joe, I tell you what. I tell you what, you stupid Samoan Joe. You cotton picker. You might have the belt now, but I will get the belt back. You stupid Samoan Joe. Where's Little Red? Here's Little Red. Little Red gonna give you an attitude adjustment. You understand that? You hear me, you small and Joe? Say, small and Joe suck. That's gonna be our belt. Give me, give me your YouTube belt back. You stupid. Show your superstar. Give me that back. You stupid small and Joe. Sit down right there. Stupid. You ain't get, let me tell you something. This is my belt. I told you that's my belt. That's Billy Bob's belt. I've got it back. I'm keeping it. You stupid Molly and Joe. Give me my coat back. I got your belt. Ha, ha, ha. I give it back to Billy Bob. I'm going to stomp. I'm going to give you the hand stomp. What? Tell you what, I'm going to take your belt with me. You hear? I'm going to take your belt. Oh!
Foley and Joe. Get out of here before I put the hand stomp on you. I'll get that belt back. People out there, I'm going to take care of Smoley and Joe. That's one thing I'm going to do today. I'm going to take care of him. We're going to get our belt back. And that's the bottom line because Big Red and Little Red said so. My belt. What? You lost. I lost. 
You know, I did not lose. You know, that was a fluke. Two out of three falls. No, you, no, two out of three no, falls right here. Come on, man. No, two out of three. Lost. No, what? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I said. I said you lost. No. I got the belt. No. My belt. I'm, no, I said I'm if you beat me, I said if I you beat you. me, I beat you. <laughs> if you beat me, you get a shot. I didn't say if you beat me, I, you win the title. Yeah, yeah, I win I the title. I did not say that. You a lie. You a lie like a lion. You a lie, lie, lie. I'm my my belt. I'll beat you fair and square. Well, if he says that's his belt, then this is my belt. Oh, no. I win. No. I win your belt. I'm the cop. What? You ain't the cotton picking champion either. I'm the cotton picking champion. Surrender my belt right now, please. No. I want it now, please. No, you ain't. Well, you know it. what? I'll be Ms. Dow for tonight. Here That's fine. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be Damian Ms. Dow. Yeah, how you like that, ladies and gentlemen? How you like that? I am awesome. I'm like the Miss. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You look like the Miss. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The crowd loves me. That's right. There's your stupid glasses. I don't need them. I want my belt back. Yeah, and you know it what? It's now time for the WWE Tag Team Championship match of the evening. It's over with. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's over with. Let's get ready to rumble. Tag Team Champion of the World, me and Homicide, the New World Alliance, is taking over this company. You know what? You see this belt right here? You see this belt right here? This belt and these glasses. You know what? These glasses right here? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. These are big red glasses. whoop de doo Here's your stupid glasses there. Big red. Let's put them on right here. Hold on, let's see what he looks like like that. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go like that. There we go. Hold on, they're not staying. There we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Let's set them right there. There we go, like them. That's what Big Red looks like knocked out. <laughs> anyway, I got this belt. I got this belt. They think he can steal belts around here. I can steal this belt. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. I am not going to do that because I am your certified magician. I'm not going to steal belts around here. Not like the stupid enforcement like Big Red stealing Fat Bad Greasy's belt. So you know what? I'm going to leave him his stupid belt right there. His stupid little, his stupid little cotton picking belt. I'm the tag team champion of the world. So you know what? Man, Homicide's going to be partying tonight. And uh, you will see Homicide later tonight. He will give his celebration speech tonight. So I hope everybody enjoys the rest of Surrender because it's going to be awesome. But I do want to go to a commercial right now. I want everybody to check out the Attitude Air commercial podcast. Check them out each and every Thursday. They're amazing. They're from Dublin, Ireland. So let's run their commercial right now. Big shout outs to you. Awesome show, guys. Can't wait for next week's show. It's an awesome show this week. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait for next week's show. The Certified Magician is soon to be out of here. But I want to say one more thing before we head to that commercial. Buff the has-been Bagwell, you think you something. You think you go around trying to be the stuff in back in in WCW. Well, you know something, Buff the stuff, Bagwell? You ain't nothing. I'm going to be there at the uh, Wrestling for a Reason uh, match next Friday night. You don't want me to come beat you up, Buff. Has been. Daddy! But anyway, I'll be there. But I, you'll, see a, you'll see a promo from me. So, yeah. I hope everybody enjoys it. I'm out of here. The certified magician Willie Joe of the New World Alliance. And your WWE Slams on Tag Team Champion of the World is out of here. See everybody at the fallout show of Surrender Beyond the Ropes. Start of May. You don't want to miss it.
Good night, ladies and gentlemen. This certified magician's out. I don't know who's going to host the rest of this free preview because I knocked him out. Ha 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 ha! Woo! to pay for everybody in this company, including the enforcement, including the New World Alliance, because this is my company that I founded well, in 2011. I founded this company. Fact. But we took it over. Fact. Yeah, you think you take it over. You, and now you're the co-owner of, right. of this company. 
You had a brand new co on. That's right. You think you something. You and Billy Bob run the show. We run it. Yeah, you think so. You don't run it. I do too. No, I'm the I'm the I'm the YouTube mega I'm the new YouTube World's Heavyweight Champion. Okay? I'm a two time YouTube World's Heavyweight Champion now. Fact. And I tell you what another fact is. Okay? I tell you what another fact is. Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, my buddies, will be tag team champions of the WWE forever and ever and ever. So I've got a little promo uh, package that I'm going to show right here after I leave. Okay? Yeah, I'm going to get, I'm going to run it and let the whole world see it. Good. Because you know something? What? At Underground, I'm going to be your new cotton-picking world's heavyweight champion. You ain't going to be nothing. Because at Underground, ladies and gentlemen, Right here, I am announcing my opportunity to get that championship against you, Big Red. You ain't getting it. I see the belt. It's way over there. You throw it over there. Somebody throw it. That yeah. stupid Willie Joe. Well, well, you know what? I'm challenging you for that title at Underground. You well, want... I'm taking that belt. Wait, hold up. I got a, I got a little uh, deal to make with you. Okay? If you put your cotton picking championship up for, up for grabs, I'll put my YouTube championship on the line. Champion versus champion. Well, that's right. Fact. Here. No, no, no. This is my belt. Okay? So, you might, you decide on what you want to do. You make that decision at the Fallout show up beyond the ropes and let the fans around the world know what you're going to do. But I know what you're going to do. You're just going to sit there and say, I ain't defending the title. I don't want to. I have to talk to Billy Bob. I have to talk to these board of directors. Crap the board of directors because I am the true owner. I can make the decisions around here. Fact. What, are you getting mad? Are you getting mad? Little Red gonna give you an attitude adjustment. Oh, is that right? That's right. Oh, is that right? Oh, I got one more thing to say. What a night. What a night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your YouTube champion. I'm your two-time world's YouTube champion. And we have Somali and Joe, your new show, your superstar champion. What a night for me and Somali and Joe. That's an epic. This show has been epic. Surrender has been awesome for me tonight. Nobody knew I was coming back tonight. You didn't even know I was coming back tonight. Fact. Well, you back, fact. And you have your little harness. You have your little rope. You know what? You, you, you said you got, hey, Bill Bob thought he was something. Hanging it above, hanging above the WWE Slam Zone Arena. Fact. Well, yeah, I tell you what a fact was, it backfired on him because I'm the champion. And nobody can take my belt away now. Not nobody, not nobody in the world. Because I am the champion. I am the champion. Fact. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the future will be arriving at Underground. And it's going to be consequences for your stupid little group. We'll see that. Yeah, we'll see that, Big Red. But ladies and gentlemen, I am out of here. I'm the YouTube World's Heavyweight Champion. Two-time, 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 two-time World's YouTube Champion. Fact. And i tell you what a fact is. We're going to run the promo package because the future is coming. And let's run it right now, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. Underground, our next free preview. The future is coming. Fact. Underground, 
2015 next month. Tune in to this channel. Tune in to the WWE Slam Zone channel. You do not want to miss it because it's going to be epic. Because the future is going to arrive and tear the house down because it's going to be amazing. So you know what, Big Red? And you know what, all WWE Slams on YouTube Universe? I am the YouTube Mega World's Heavyweight Champion. Fact, and the future is coming. Fact. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out. What's up, everybody? Oh, that stupid Simoleon Joe, I tell you what, lost my show, your Superstar World's Heavyweight Championship. But you know what, Small and Joe, I don't even want to talk about it. I'll see you at Beyond the Ropes uh, next week. It's just, uh, whatever on you. This, I ain't worried about that anymore. I'm in, I'm now in the production truck. I left the WWE Slams on Arena. I just got tired of it. Stupid Samoli Joe thinks he's something. Ugh. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is the WWE Extreme Rules pay-per-view review hosted by me, the co-owner, Billy Bob. And, you know, we had Extreme Rules kickoff. It started off with Bad News Barrett versus NXT superstar Adrian Neville, which he's on the main roster now. Uh, this match, what well, it was supposed to be Bad News Barrett versus Daniel Bryan, but Daniel Bryan couldn't compete uh, because he was is injured. He got injured on the European tour with a concussion, so now it was Bad News Barrett versus Neville. This was a really good match. You had. Bad News Barrett tried to hit Wasteland. He hit the Winds of Chain. He didn't work. Then he tried to hit the Bullhammer. Never worked. Adrian Neville come back at the end and hit the Red Arrow and beat Bad News Barrett. It was a big shocker. I thought Barrett would beat him, but it didn't happen, ladies and gentlemen. But it was a good match to, for the kickoff show before the actual pay-per-view excel. You know, it was good. Uh, Extreme Rules then kicked off live on the WWE Network for only $9.99. And it was also, uh, for new subscribers, it was free for the month of April. Uh, but we kicked off with a Chicago street fight with Dean Ambrose versus Luke Harper. This match was insane. They, they used kendo sticks. They used chairs. It was crazy. At the beginning of the match... They beat each other up in the ring. They went out of the ring, went to the back, fought in the backstage area. They went through the gorilla position and uh, and everything like that. And then all of a sudden there was this like SUV looking car. Uh, you know, they Luke Harper tried to get in there. He kicked Dean Ambrose out of the car. And then Dean Ambrose, right before the Harper drove off, he grabbed, he, he jumped right into the SUV. And then they drove off. And the announcers was like, okay, is the match going to still happen? It's still going on. And JBL mentioned, he said, maybe they're going to be like Curtis Axel, like he, Curtis Axel's been in the main event. Uh, I mean, the Royal Rumble for so many days, so many months, so it could happen like that, JBL said, but that was very interesting, and then we had, we went backstage with Triple H and Kane, and he told, Triple H told Kane to go find Ambrose and Harper, they could be in, in the streets of Chicago somewhere, fighting, and that's about all it went, and Seth Rollins was in this promo as well, and the fans started chanting boring during the promo because they wanted to see the, more wrestling. So we had the next match of the evening. It was a kiss my butt match. It was Dolph Ziggler versus Sheamus. This was, it was kind of a short match. I mean, you had, at the end, you had Sheamus comes uh, right back and, sent, and uh, slams Ziggler for a two count. Ziggler blocks a suplex and rolls Sheamus up again for the win. Your winner, uh, Dolph Ziggler. And at the end, it was like um, trying Sheamus didn't want to kiss Dolph Ziggler's butt. And then all of a sudden, you had Sheamus uh, road kick uh, Ziggler and made him kiss his butt. 
But uh, anyway, I thought it was kind of, I didn't like the stipulation. I thought it was kind of stupid myself. I, didn't, I thought maybe it should have been maybe an anything goes match or a table match or, or something like that. I, I didn't give, I didn't give two craps about the stipulation of that match. Next match of the evening, we had the WWE Tag Team Championships on the line as Cesaro and Tyson Kidd uh, defend the tag team titles against the New Day. New Day sucks. That's right, New Day does suck. Uh, but anyway, this is what happened. Cesaro goes for the pin, but Woods gets on the apron for a distraction. Natalia smacks Woods. And Kid, and Kid takes him out. Big E gets involved, but Cesaro takes him out as well. The New Day it then ends up stealing the win and becomes your new WWE Tag Team Champions of the World. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, big shocker, New Day, your champions. Uh, now we're going in back. The New Day celebrated in the backstage area. And then all of a sudden, there the, the SUV shows up. And uh, Renee Young and them was interviewing the New Day. And out popped out uh, Luke Harper out of the, out of the uh, car. You know, Luke Harper drove off when they left. And Dean Ambrose come back and he was the one that was driving. But Luke Harper got spilled out. He fell out of the car. And, and uh, Xavier Woods said, Oh, you still getting beat up? You still getting beat up? And so, anyway, then all of a sudden, Dean Ambrose jumps off the top of the SUV on top of the New Day. And, uh, you know, they keep brawling. They brawled out, out to the ring. And this Chicago street fight is still continuing. And they, Dean Ambrose got a bunch of chairs out from under the ring. Threw the chairs in the ring. Luke Harper threw some chairs in the ring. It was crazy. Uh, pretty awesome uh, street fight. And uh, this is what happened. Dirty Deeds. Uh, Dean Ambrose hit Dirty Deeds and, a pow and Power Bombs. Um, Harper blocks Dirty Deeds and power bombs Ambrose onto a chair for a two count. Fans chant for tables, but Harper piles chairs on top of Ambrose. Harper goes up to the top, but Ambrose busts through the chairs and sends Harper to the mat. Ambrose hits the Dirty Deeds on top of the chairs on Harper for the win. Your winner, Dean Ambrose. And uh, this match lasted 58 minutes. That was a long time, I mean, really. Um, but anyway, we're going on to the next match of the evening. It was the first ever televised Russian chain match for the WWE United States Championship of the World. You had John Cena defending the U.S. Championship against Rusev. And this is the only way you have to win, ladies and gentlemen. The only way you have to win, you have to touch each of the four corners in the ring, and you have to have that light lit it up to win. And, uh, I mean, this was a good match. This is exactly what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Bruce and Cena both tag one corner each. Cena tags a second, and does, and so does Rusev. Cena hits a third corner, as does Rusev. They turn and face each other now. Rusev goes for a corner for a corner, but Cena pulls him in with the chain and nails the AA on Rusev. Cena then touches the fourth corner for the win and retains the WWE United States Championship, your winner and still champion, John Cena. This was pretty good. I enjoyed this match. It was really interesting. Uh, I, I like how the concept of you have to teach touch each four of the corners of the ring. It was pretty awesome, and I'm glad John Cena kept the World Heavy or, or U.S. Championship. Um, it was still good. I enjoyed it. Uh, after the match, you know, Cena celebrates, and Rusev was angry. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there, I'll go ahead and say this that way. I won't get be out of order here. Uh, you know, backstage, you know, Rusev was fussing at Lana. He must have was trying to, he was mad because I guess he couldn't find no donuts. Donut shop closed in, in, in uh, Chicago, I guess. I don't know what he was mad about. He was just mad. So, he told Lana, and Lana went to the authorities' office, and then we find out at payback next month in, on May 17th, 
we're going to get an I Quit match. It will be the final chapter between John Cena and Rusev. So uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, next match of the evening, we have the WWE Divas Championship match as Nikki Bella with Brie Bella defends the Divas Championship versus Naomi. This was supposed to be Paige taking on Naomi, but it did not happen because Paige got injured by Naomi back in uh, Raw a few weeks ago in, in London, England. But this was a good match. It it, it could have lasted a little little bit longer, but uh, you know, it, you know, it is what it is. But uh, Nikki with a springboard kick to the face for another close two count. Bree gets a kick to the face in while the referee is distracted. Nikki takes advantage and hits the rack attack for the win. And uh, actually, it was Bree gets the kick to the face on Naomi. I don't know why uh, they said it was Brie, but no, Brie kicked Naomi, and uh, Nikki took advantage and hits the rack attack. And still, your Divas World's Heavyweight Champion, Nikki Bella, uh, just great match there. Um, you also had the next match of the evening. We had a last man standing match. It was the Big Show taking on Roman Reigns. Now, I thought this match, this match really surprised me. I thought it was just going to be like a slow-paced match, and, you know, that was about it, I thought. But it surprised me. You had some awesome spots. You had, uh, you know, the kendo sticks was involved. You had tables where Big Show said, I don't need no table. And he broke the table and all this. He said, threw weapons out. Big Show said, I don't need no weapons to beat Rain. So, that's what happened at the beginning at the at beginning of the match. This is what happened at the end of the match. Brains uh got up and then, you know, show made it made himself you know, he got back up himself. Show falls back down and Reigns uh tips the announce table, but before this, um, you know, Roman Reigns hit the spear. He got up on the table. You know, Big Show was gonna choke slam Roman Reigns, but uh Roman Reigns uh countered it, Spirit Big Show through the Spanish announce table there at the end, and then at the end, you know, Big Show was getting up, and then Roman Reigns said, you know what, I'm going to tip the announce table over on top of you, and he uh, he put the announce table over uh, on top of Big Show, and Big Show couldn't get up, so you're a winner, and uh, Roman Reigns has beaten the Big Show in the last man standing match. He is the last man standing. Roman Reigns. What an awesome match. Really surprised me. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad it turned out awesome. Uh, but anyway. We're going on to the next match of the evening. Uh, we get a bonus match. I mean. Well. It wasn't really a match. But we had Bo Dallas. He comes out. And uh, talks junk to the Chicago fans. And then out comes Ryback, and Ryback's like, well, you know what? Uh, feed me more, feed me more, and then he hit the shell shock on Bo Dallas, and that ended the segment. Not much there, but um, that that's about it for that. Uh, but anyway, now we're going on to the main event of the evening. We had the steel cage match for the WWE World's Heavyweight Championship. It was... Seth Rollins defending the WWE World's Heavyweight Championship against the Viper, Randy Orton. And the RKO is banded in this match. And Kane is your gatekeeper, the guardian of the gate, like Triple H said. Um, this was really good. You had J&J Security come out. They tried to help Rollins climb out of the cage. You had Rollins, you know... Tries to drop to the floor. Didn't happen. You had Orton pulled Rollin back over the top of the cage. Hits a huge suplex for a two count. And then, you know, Orton, um, even though he couldn't use the RKO, he actually used Triple H's pedigree uh, to try to win the match, but it didn't happen. Fans started chanting yes after that. 
uh, you know, Orton gets up and pulls Rollins back for a ba backbreaker. Orton walks over, but Kane shuts the door in his face. Rollins comes from behind, but ends up knocking Kane back into the barrier. Rollins crawls out of the door, but Orton grabs his leg. Kane gets up and slams the cage doors in door into both Rollins and Orton. Kane snaps and takes off his jacket and tie. JJ security yell and tell him. It's time to go inside the cage. Kane grabs JJ for a double choke slam for, to a big pop. Kane crowd went crazy. Kane looks to be going after Rollins, but he grabs Orton by the throat instead. Kane choke slams at Orton. Rollins goes for the cage door, but Kane pulls him back and choke slams him also. Kane picks up Rollins up and places him up, places him on. Top of Orton, but Orton kicks out at two. Kane goes for a touchdown on Orton, but it's countered. This is what this is what's crazy here. Orton then drops Kane with an RKO. Rollins comes from behind and hits an RKO on Orton, and Rollins crawls out of the cage to win the match and retain the WWE World's Heavyweight Champion. Your winner is still champion Seth Rollins. You know, the RKO was banded, so how can Seth Rollins use the RKO on Brandy Orton? I know on Raw, he said, you know, he said, oh, it's the Seth KO, but, it, you know, I thought the RKO was banded him, but I don't know. That's what's best for business, like you know. Uh, but anyway, that concluded Extreme Rules, uh, you know, live on the WWE Network. And it was uh, for only nine ninety nine, but this was a really good, uh, really good show. Uh, that's my opinion about all the matches. the The main event was really good. It was really, it's like where's Kane going? Is he really? It's like he's got two personalities. He's like he wants to be with the authority, and then he just don't want to be. Sometimes, like pick your whatever you want to do, Kane. Finally, make your mind up and, and go and pick a side, please. I, I don't know why on earth you want to you, you wanna do the two different personalities thing. To me, I think Kane should come back and put the mask back on myself. That's my opinion on it. But uh, overall, it was still a great, great, uh, you know, pay-per-view. Great match. I give... Uh, Extreme Rules, 10 out of 10, ladies and gentlemen. Great pay-per-view. Uh, can't wait for payback on May 17th. It's going to be epic as well. Um, that's my that's my final thoughts on Extreme Rules. It was a good, good show. And I want to, um, I'm going to send it back to uh, Big Red there at the WWE Slam Zone Arena. You're going to have uh, the conclusion. We're going to have the conclusion right here at Surrender tonight. So uh, I hope everybody enjoyed my review of uh, WWE Extreme Rules 2015. And Samoa and Joe, you're going to hear from me uh, on Beyond the Ropes. My head hurts. You slammed me into that table. It, it didn't feel good at all. I had to I had to get out of the, the arena and get to the production truck here to do this review for you fans, for all the WWE Slam Zone fans out there. So, Samoli and Joe, you will hear from me, and I want my show, Your Superstar Championship, back. But I'll, I'll talk about that at Beyond the Roads. But let's send it back to the WWE Slam Zone Arena. Big Red is waiting there. He's ready to go to finish out Surrender. So take it away. We're going to send it back to the WWE Slam Zone Arena. Take it away, Big Red. Billy Bob, he's done the Stream Rules review for you. How'd you like that? <laughs> I hear... <laughs> I hear stupid homicide. <laughs> you stupid homicide. <laughs> stupid homicide. <laughs> That's all you have to say. <laughs> you crazy homicide. Stupid homicide, get over here and sit down. Get over here and sit down, you stupid homicide. Yeah, right here. 
do it. <laughs> what happened to the belt? What happened to the belt? The belt's gone. Belt gone? Who stole the belt? The Who owner. Who stole the belt? Can I swing on that? The owner. No, you can't swing on it. You're too fat. Do, 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 do. What, ladies and gentlemen? Give me my belt back. No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. I am a homicide, and the New World Alliance is still the WWE Slam Zone Tag Team Champion of the world. Willie Joe retained the titles for us, and we're, we're amazing. No, quit. He cheated. Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, uh, uh. That's for that road gave me out over there. Huh? What is this show? What is this show? This is surrender. This is surrender. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You stupid, sir. You stupid. You don't know what show we at. You was about to call me surrender. I call you stupid. I'm not stupid when I'm the champion of the world. It is time for my celebration speech of the night. Okay? I am the champion. Of the world, I want to thank all my fans out there who is in attendance watching this show around the world. I am your champion, and I'm proud to be your champion. I am a great member of the New World Alliance Homicide. I am the hitman of that group, and me and Willie Joe are taking over this WWE Slam Zone company, and it's the start, like we just said it. Celebrary, the anniversary show, and I'm just glad to be everybody's champion of the world. Me and Willie Joe, we got a lot of things planned. I can't uh, announce right now because if we do, uh, they might hear it over here. This guy might hear it. And uh, so he thought, I want to say this, he thought after that comes, after that hand stomp, he hit me took my mask last week on the Beyond the Ropes. He thought he would get rid of me. He thought he would get rid of Willie Joe taking his braids and stuff. Well, you know what? He was wrong. You see what happened? And I didn't get the belt. <laughs> He's got one belt right now. That's all they got. Well, Billy Bob lost tonight. He lost his belt. You lost, you didn't even, you didn't even get the tag titles tonight. The enforcement is falling apart. <laughs> you know what? And this cotton big and title? That's my title. Are you getting upset now? What little red? What? Are you yeah, getting yeah, upset tonight? Yeah, uh -huh. Little red gonna give it to you in a minute. Okay, little red. You want a shot tonight? Yeah. You big red want a shot? That's right. Oh, 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 oh. That's oh. like my shot. How you like that? Oh. Homicide. Oh. What do you think about it, homicide? Oh. Say. Oh. 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 Stupid homicide. I done oh. took your homicide. And he, oh. I'm going to give his belt back to him because it ain't rightly mine, but oh. it, will be, it will be mine. I got his bandana. I got it. And I'm going to keep it for till next time. And that's the bottom line because Big Red said so. I was tired of his mouth.
surrender. I said it beyond the ropes last week. I told them that if they don't surrender my King of England Championship tonight, there will be consequences to pay because I am the true King of England Champion. They stole my belt for no reason, and I'm going to get it back tonight. So, Big Red, you can hand me my belt. I'm going to sit down while you can hand me my King of England Championship right now. Right now, if you don't hand it to me, you're going to have consequences to pay for I ain't got your belt. Where's my belt? Where's your belt? My belt. It's right there. You hung my belt up. I hung your belt up. Why did you hang my belt up? Because I wanted to. You know I can't get that belt from there. Uh, where's the, I can't eat. There's no ladder around here. It's your tough luck. <laughs> Fat back Greasy's mad. <laughs> Enforcement. 